Thanks for joining me at Textbook Engineering Problem. Today we're working out of Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes, 3rd edition. We're going to be doing problem number 2.7. A supersonic aircraft consumes 5,320 imperial gallons of kerosene per hour of flight and flies an average of 14 hours per day. It takes roughly 7 tons of crude oil to produce 1 ton of kerosene. The density of kerosene is 0.965 grams per centimeter cubed. How many planes would it take to consume the entire annual world production of 4.02 times 10 to the 9 metric tons of crude oil? There is a lot of information in this problem. Um, so let's just write down what we know from the problem statement. Okay, so we know that... Uh, there's a plane, one plane can consume this many gallons of few, uh, kerosene per hour, okay? Then we know we have this weird unit here that they gave to us, which is uh, one plane flies 14 hours per day. So... 14 hours per day per plane, okay? Um, then they give us this conversion ratio that's um, 7 um, tons of oil is equal to 1 ton of kerosene, okay? Then they gave us the density of kerosene, that is 0 0.965 grams per centimeter cubed. Then um, finally they said the total world production of kerosene fuel, oh no, crude oil fuel is 4.02 times 10 to the 9 ton. Uh, but these are metric tons, I'll put a little M there, metric tons per year. And that's oil, not kerosene. Okay, great. So now we just need to kind of make sense of all these, these this information that they gave to us. Um, first, let's get the volume, let's get rid of the volume consumption rate and... Uh, and turn this into like a mass consumption rate because the this um, this uh, total metric tons of oil is a mass measurement. A ton is a measurement of mass. So we need to convert this oil or this uh, volume measurement into a mass measurement so we can compare apples to apples here. That's why they gave us the density. So let's go ahead and do that. And then while we're at it. After we convert it into a mass measurement, let's turn it into a mass rate per day per plane. So we'll use that conversion factor as well. Okay, so then we'll get a, we'll figure out our mass consumption rate. So our mass consumption is going to be our volume consumption, but we'll convert it using the density while we're at it. Let's do these conversions so that we are working in the same mass measure, mass units. So instead of working in grams, let's go all the way to metric tons. And instead of working in, uh, we also need to convert these centimeters cubed into gallons. So we're comparing those. Compare apples to apples, as they say. Gallons to gallons. And we'll continue down here on the next line. So now we've got our whole equation written out. Now we just pull out our calculators and write down the answer. Okay, so that's 272 metric tons of kerosene per day per plane. Okay, so we've got our hours canceling here, got our gallons canceling here, grams canceling here, kilograms canceling here, and centimeters and then we're just left 
with our metric tons, our days, and our planes. Okay. So now we need to convert our our total amount of oil into a total amount of kerosene. Okay, so TF needs to be converted from 4.02 times 10 to the 9 metric tons of oil to, per year, to kerosene. Good thing they gave us that conversion factor right up here. 5.7 4 times 10 to 8 metric tons of kerosene per year. Okay, now we have our mass flow rate and our total amount of um, kerosene per year. So let's figure out how many planes it will take to use all of that. Okay, so we've got our total amount and we have our mass flow rate, and that should give us what we want. So 5.74 times 10 to the 8 metric tons of kerosene per year. And then we divide by our mass, which is 272 metric tons of kerosene per day per plane. Okay. Then we need a final conversion to say there are 365.25 days in a year. So we're continuing down on the next line over here. Okay, so now we multiply in the numerators, we divide by the denominators, and that gives us 5.78 times 10 to the 3 planes. You see the years cancel, the days cancel, the metric tons of kerosene cancel, and we're just left with the number of planes. So that is our final answer. It would take about 5,000... 6,000 planes to use the entire year's worth of kerosene. If you have any corrections you'd like to submit, put them in the comments, and I'll add them to the video description. Thanks for your help. Bye.